In the conservatorship case involving the former American Pickers star Frank Fritz, the attorney representing Fritz has demanded that he be compensated for his services. After suffering a devastating stroke on July 14, 2022, which left his decision-making skills so impaired, Frank, who was 59 years old at the time, was placed under a conservatorship. It is possible for the United States Sun to publish in an exclusive manner that Frank's attorney submitted a motion to approve attorney fees earlier this month. The conservator, which is Midwestone Bank, was asked to pay fees of $1,200 through the request made by Frank's attorney, who was assigned to represent him by the court. In the letter submitted to the court, it is stated that the undersigned respectfully requests the court to approve the reasonable attorney fees in the above matter and grant authority to the court-appointed conservator to pay out such fees. There are a variety of fees, such as $450 for two visits to Frank in the hospital, $120 for his presence at the guardianship hearing in September 2022, $150 for reviewing court files, and more. The judge who was presiding over the case granted the request. Francie's right to conservation. On August 18, Frank's friends submitted a request for an emergency appointment of a temporary guardian and conservator for the celebrity, stating that his decision-making capacity is so impaired. The following is an excerpt from the records that were obtained by the United States Sun. Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired as a result of his stroke that he is unable to care for his own safety or to provide for necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, or medical care, without which he may suffer from a physical injury or illness. According to the statement, Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired that he is unable to make communicate or carry out important decisions concerning his own financial affairs. In the court documents, there was a reference to an exhibit that was provided by a physician, which confirmed that Frank does not have decisional capacity. The following additional information was included in the legal documents. Decisions must be made for Mr. Fritz's care and placement while he continues to recover and receive treatment for his injuries. It is imperative that a guardian and conservator be appointed in order to prevent any immediate harm from occurring to him. The person who submitted the petition asked for Frank's guardian to be a different longtime friend of his who has been assisting him in decision-making since the stroke. Money is important. In order to manage Frank's financial matters, Midwestone Bank has been appointed as the conservator. The court gave its blessing to both the legal guardian and the conservator, respectively. Initial plan documents were submitted by Midwestone Bank, which disclosed Frank's monthly expenditures. The monthly expenses that Frank incurs amount to $28,292, with $22,832 of that amount being spent on in-home health care. The star will have to pay a total of $273,984 each year for their medical care alone. According to the documents filed with the court, assets will be invested in order to begin generating income for Mr. Fritz. Despite the fact that the conservator has not yet compiled an inventory of Frank's numerous antiques and valuables, they want to leave them largely exactly as they are now. While Mr. Fritz is still in the process of recuperating, the conservator will collaborate with the guardian to integrate Mr. Fritz into management decisions. It is planned that Frank will have access to a bank account that has a small balance for his personal use. Additionally, the conservator will work to apply for disability income for the protected person should he be eligible, as stated in the report. The antique shop known as Frank Fritz Finds is located in the state of Illinois. The following is an excerpt from the initial plan that was submitted by the conservator Midwestone Bank. Mr. Fritz is a well-known collector and has numerous outbuildings full of valuable collections. It is the intention of the conservator to leave those goods mostly in their current state, 
with the exception of refilling Mr. Fritz's antique store in Savannah, Illinois, if and when it is required. The conservator has not yet conducted an inventory of those items. According to the conservator, there is optimism that Frank will be able to take part in the selection and price of things, just like he did in the past. After being discharged from the hospital on September 6, Frank, Frank checked himself Frank into a rehabilitation on American center Pickers in was in an episode that aired in March of 2020. He had taken a break from the show in order to recuperate from back surgery, which resulted in his receiving 185 stitches and two rods in his spine. Frank was able to shed 65 pounds while he was away from the show. Furthermore, he disclosed to the United States Sun that he completed 77 days of treatment for alcohol addiction in Iowa. In an earlier statement, Frank stated, I went to rehabilitation and I've been sober for 11 months now. Drinking was no longer something I preferred. The cause of death of my mother, who was an alcoholic, was alcohol-related, and she passed away five years ago. The death of my grandfather was a consequence of his drinking. I couldn't help but feel uneasy about that. When Frank was in therapy, he stated, they provided me with a great deal of information, and we were scheduled to be there for 13 or 14 hours each day. There was no time for lounging about watching television or food consumption. Throughout the day, you were planned to be absent for a period of one hour, followed by an hour and a half. A significant amount of one-on-one -on -one time is provided to you by them. While I was there, I read 12 books on how to assist yourself. I did not give if asterisk asterisk about. I became quite invested in it. For the purpose of gaining knowledge and making the most of the experience that I could, I went there. I had a wonderful time there and I was able to assist other individuals who were also experiencing difficulties. You may say that it is one of the best things that has ever occurred to me. In addition, Frank stated that he attends meetings twice a week following the completion of the stay. A DI is PUTE with Mike. After his absence, Frank expressed his desire to return to the History Channel series by saying, I'd still like to get back to my job. I miss my friends and my people and being on the road and meeting all those different characters. Frank's statement regarding his desire to return to the series was upfront and honest. Mike quickly disclosed that Frank had been terminated from his position on the series. That the longtime friends had a disagreement was something that Frank had already verified to the United States Sun. On the other hand, Mike stated in a recent interview that he hopes Frank would return to the show and that they are on excellent terms at the present time.